Oh, so it's uh, Friday morning and it's gonna be a snatch. I'm buying my stuff. Here we go. Okay, so snatch. Can have a look what the plan of attack is. So I brought out a, a full cycle for this snatch. Okay, so this one, oh wow. Oh, I'm going to say, hold on, hold on. That's, a, that's quite advanced into the cycle. That scared me, I scared myself. <laughs> so this one. It looks like 20 sets of 8 with 20 kilos. Yeah, 20 sets of 8 with 20 kilos. So previously, let me just have a, just have a get my head into this. So the, la the last session, I did 18 kilos. For 20 sets of 10, I believe. This is 20 sets of 8 with 20 kilos. Brief warm up. Tiny smidgen of the uh, oblique work yesterday. You know, the side abs, obliques. And uh, I could feel them. And I'm glad I only did a small amount. Oh, let's give them a bit of attention in this warm up, stretch them out a bit. A bit of blood flow. I've got no idea how people do dislocates with the broomstick. So a dislocate it's sort of like you have to imagine this because I can't do it. So it's gonna go all the way round. I can't do it. I can do it with a band. I mean how do you get past that point? I've got no idea. But I see people doing them. Well, on YouTube, not in real life. <laughs> okay. So. For the snatch. I like to use some uh, wristbands. Wrist wraps. So when the when the kettlebell falls, it falls onto the wrist wrap. It's very comfortable.
ali todo. Chest it's done the last time I did 22 reps with this, so let's go for 23. Hopefully, good hard start. without destroying the house. Okay, that looks like I've got the room.
getting there. So this is this notch is done as an emum. So it's also gonna be an emum. Uh, so I've wrote out a, a long long cycle, it's a very long cycle. Uh, so it starts off with 20 sets of 8 for 20 kilos. Yeah, that's it, that's the warm up done. Uh, put a bit of chalk on. Solid. Give me a look at Liquid chalk is slightly mess, less messy, doesn't go all over the place. So, Emom, 20 sets of 8. Can wait for the chalk to dry. So, first time on the uh, 20 kilos on the, on the snatches for a long while. First time doing this particular run up. So, the idea is that eventually. Well, very soon this will be this will be uh, I'm looking this actually goes up to about 30 sets of uh, 10 with this 20 kilos. During this cycle, that's just a midpoint. Go then, eight, did I say? Eight. So I'm constantly evolving in a hopefully a progressive way during this this particular block of training. Uh, so the previous block was all about getting big numbers on the bar. Uh, this one's all about volume.
So I'm doing this kettlebell stuff in the morning. And this is a, this is gonna be plenty of uh, sets and reps for the kettlebell moves that I'm gonna do. And then in the PM I'm gonna do barbell work. Again with uh, plenty of sets. It's all volume. The bo I think I said previously, I was going to do clean and press and snatch on the same day, but I decided against that, for the time being anyway, because I'm going to try and work up to about 30 sets on each, I think that doing that on one day is, for the time being anyway, a bridge too far. So I split them up into two different days. Okay, this feels heavy. This is not easy. But Gotta get used to it. I think every time you move up a bell. So previously, the last one was at 18s. So this is a 20, obviously. Five, that's a quarter in there. Quarter of the way there. So in the PM, I will do some sort of a press. I'm not yet decided. More than likely, I'm gonna do something like close grip bench press. So, I'm not gonna do overhead pressing with a barbell. I think this is enough, you know, with it. Yeah, you know, clean and press obviously, not so much a snatch, but the snatch is obviously involving shoulders. Yeah, yeah doing this on an EMOM seems really fast.
Okay, that's about a third of the way. Seven down. Just over a third, isn't it? So I'm gonna do this, and then I'll do some uh, some laterals. Probably get ten sets of laterals in. Build it up to ten sets. So the idea is for each session to be under an hour. I mean that's that's including warm ups. So if I get something like a maximum of 40 EMOM sets, that's about the top, isn't it? Obviously I'm going to do 20 of these and 10 laterals, that'd be 30 sets, but uh, these will build up. It's nice. Okay, halfway. In terms of cardio, these snatches and the and the squats definitely hard, hardest. No, it's all hard. About 60%, 12 sets. But this is the part where it gets harder. I think you get just past midway. 
There's a long way to go. But as you get into the last few sets, it seems to get easier again. Because you know you're there. Okay, positive thinking, negative thinking, whatever. I'm still gonna do it. I'm definitely gonna finish this, whatever it takes. It will go. Sure, this is a lot harder than the swing yesterday. But then again, yesterday in the PM, I did deadlifts. So, as I say, I think I'll do a close grip bench press, that should be a lot easier. Seventy percent, two thirds, more than two thirds. Yeah, 15 sets. This is a tough one. This, this is the very beginning of the cycle. I mean, next time, the schedule is 21 sets of five with a 24 kilo bell. So 24 kilo snatches. That's gonna break my arms. But we'll do it. Okay, 16 sets. The end is inside. I said at some point this is going to become 30 sets. So hopefully I will get the improvement that allows me to do it. Three left. I had little doubt I would do it, but 
It's hard. I would have liked it to be a bit easier at this point. Near the beginning. But carry on, see what happens. Hopefully just get used to it. Probably because it's a new bill. This is first time out of the twenties. Maybe the same next time I do this. First time out of the twenty-fours. Sweat on now. Last set. So yeah, I mean, this kettlebell still seems to start hard. Then it eases up a little bit. Then you get past about, get to about midpoint, it feels hard again. Then at the end, so it seems to be, you know, psychologically not bad. Spot on. Good stuff. Definitely a hard one. Not gonna lie about it. Found that challenge. As I say, I pretty much knew I was gonna finish it, but I also knew it was gonna cost me. Okay, so I did say I'm gonna do lateral, so bear with me, I'm gonna fetch a pair of weights. Hold me a minute. So these are a pair of uh, 8.5s. So, uh, I think I need, I don't need grips. Take the grips off. I'm just, uh, Stall for time. <laughs> so 
Yeah, everything about snatching is hard. You know, cardio-wise it's hard. It's a big, long movement. So, lateral raises. Where are you? Find some somewhere. Here we go. Oh, not so bad. I started off with seven last time. So I hope I'll get a set of eight. Yeah, okay. Extended arm, that's, that's me fully extended. Okay, seems like it bent, doesn't it? I'm gonna say that's a, a lack of range of motion. You know, I've lost some range of motion, I believe. Need to stretch it out more, but whether or not it makes any difference, I don't know. so far So last time it was 776. 998. Okay. So hopefully I'm going to get the full 10 sets here. Today. This uh, volume splurge is hopefully it's helping the fat burning. Right, I think you've got yeah, you've got two options vertical, haven't you? If you want to lose fat. Cutting the calories, or keeping the calories the same, and uh, upping the activity. But either way, it's a calorific deficit, really. Uh, so, I, you know, I think the more training I do, the less I'm going to worry about the diet. But it just comes down to diet, really. It's just maths, isn't it? Energy in, energy out. I mean, there's more to it than that, but that is a big part of it, I believe. Eight. I mean, there's certain foods that make you, make you feel fuller. For longer, but I mean, even if you even if you just 
even if you just say it's, uh, for example, you know, ice cream and protein powder, you know, you're getting, your, you're getting sufficient protein in, you know, getting, get, getting the calories from ice cream, okay, you know, you're still going to lose weight if you, if, if, you, if you can discipline yourself to not eat a lot of ice cream, you know. If you can discipline yourself to a, a deficit. Come on. But uh, I think it's easier if you, you know, if you stick to filling food, like for example, big load of broccoli, fills your gut up, There's nothing magic about it, it just fills your stomach, if you're full, you know, protein, makes you feel full, it's quite hard to eat a, a lot of the, uh, a lot of meat or chicken or whatever. Okay, I set seven. Six. And also, doing lots of sets on an emo, on a tight timer. You know, that definitely gets your heart rate up. Definitely gets you into cardio territory, fat burning territory. A lot of the work your body has to do is now when you're recovering from the set. It's not just those few seconds when you're actually lifting, it's a recovery from the set. A seven. Okay, I gained a rep. Went back up again. Two to go. And that's it for today. Two to go and I'm done. So that's 30 E1 sets. So the max I will do is 40. So I'm going to leave these at 10 sets. These will not go beyond 10 sets. But what will go will be the, uh, the kettlebell work before it. So there's going to be a maximum of 30 sets on kettlebells. And a maximum of 10 sets on the on the secondary movement, let's say. Seven. But I can just progress it with uh, reps and weight. Last set of the day, of the morning rather. So after this, in the PM, around about three o'clock ish, I will do close grip bench press for a lot of sets. Come on, last one. Can I get seven? Might be six, seven, who knows. Come on. Seven. Okay. That's it, seven. Done for today. Well done, it feels pretty good. Not bad. I mean, it's not easy by any means.
That's it. That's the price, isn't it? Land of the living. Stay fit.